act of war. Putin deploys nuclear missiles in Europe as he admits fury at NATO expansion. An alarming signal Vladimir Putin is preparing for war has come after his top military chiefs revealed the Kremlin is deploying much-feared Iskander and S-400 long-range missile defense systems deep inside of Europe. Iskander missiles are nuclear-capable, and the deployment uh, to the Russian enclave of Kaliningrad puts vast swaths of Europe in the crosshairs of Moscow's short-range ballistic missile program. With a range of roughly 300 mi miles, the Iskander missile could hit targets as far away as Berlin, Poland, and Sweden with an atomic warhead. Dubbed the Growler by NATO, the S-400 is an aircraft missile system that can cover short and long-range targets. Confirmation of the antagonistic move by Vladimir Putin's administration came from the head of the Defense Committee in the Russian Upper House of Parliament. Victor told Russian news agency RIA the government saw the deployment of its missiles near the western border as a response to Washington setting up a missile shield in Europe. The development comes as Mr. Putin hit out at the West for plans to increase NATO. In an interview with Russian TV today, the leader said, Why are we reacting to NATO expansion so emotionally? We are concerned by NATO's decision making. Relations between Russia and the West have plunged to their lowest since the Cold War in recent months. Why is this important? Why should this be taken seriously? Why is this not just fear mongering? Because we are entering into the multipolar world order. Let me explain to you what that is. Order out of chaos. Third world war rapidly approaches. International order undergoing a foundational shift. This foundational shift I've been telling you guys about has already taken place. This is just the beginning of it. It began with the Brexit. It's now hitting, it's picking up with Trump. And of course, it's going to go on to the elections throughout Europe. Uh, we are witnessing something very strange taking place, and a lot of people weren't predicting this. I wasn't predicting this. I was predicting a Hillary Clinton, same path, so on and so forth. But there were people who were predicting this, and one of those is Mark Bliff. You need to go check him out. He's a political scientist. He predicted Trump. He's also got an understanding of what's going to take place next. We're going to see this, this multipolar world sort of come out. He doesn't use those words. Those are my words. But this is what we're going to see come out of it, and that's what he's kind of going on the lines of saying. And, of course, you've got the global think tanks who are all predicting, since 2008, a multipolar world by the year 2025. And basically what this is, uh, is phase three of their agenda to bring about a new world order. A multipolar world increases in rivalry in world politics. The reason being that many states of similar strength compete for power and influence. These states are often uncertain of other states' intentions, which increases the probability of military action. Also, the power balance in this type of system is changing constantly as a result of changing alliances. Multipolarity denotes the fundamental power structure in an international system dominated by several large powers and is characterized by antagonism between these. Let me explain something to you. We just saw an alliance shift when Trump got in office. I don't know if you guys noticed it, but all of a sudden now we're alliance that we're, we're about to, because he's not in office yet, we're about to. He was selected, not not an office. I, I may have jumped the, jumped the gun here, but we're about to start a new relationship with Russia. That's not, it's not a bad thing. No one's saying it's a bad thing. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying this is the alliance shifts that the multipolar world continually has. This is why there's evidence of a multipolar world structure coming about. They have to build this. It's supposed to be totally constructed by 2025. They don't last long, which is why phase four, the new world order, which would come out of the ashes of the multipolar world. Let's put it that way. Now, with, of course, Russia responding, not starting, but responding to Europe or to the West or to, the, or to Washington, excuse me, an alarming signal Vladimir Putin is preparing for war has come after his top military chiefs revealed the Kremlin is deploying much feared Iskander and S-400 long-range missile defense systems deep inside Europe. But what are they responding to? Why are they doing it? Because Washington, the U.S. and the West, have deployed what? The missile, missile shield in Europe. The U.S. missile shield in Europe. It's a response. It's not an instigation. They're not starting anything. They're just responding. So we can tone down that little bit of fear-mongering that the Express is trying to put off. But at the same time, that's all the information I've got for you. 
And of course, there's going to be more about this multipolar world. We're going to be working to try and uh, help a lot of people understand what actually is taking place around the world. Because we are. We are all, this is the stage. This is all a stage. We're witnessing the stage begin to crack a little bit. And that's what's shocking everyone. That's why it was a foundational shift. That's why Order Out of Chaos 3rd, uh, I forget what the title was on this one, hang on. Um, order Out of Chaos 3rd World War Rapidly Approaches International Order Undergoing a Foundational Shift. That's what it is. It's a foundational shift. That said, I want to thank you guys for watching and listening. Please make sure you subscribe to our website, freedomfightertimes.com slash info for more information on that. Please also subscribe to our YouTube channel. And of course, if you want to stay up to date and get notified by every single video we produce, please click the bell when you subscribe or even if you're already subscribed. That was not timed. That was my phone. That was not timed. When I said bell, it went off. But anyways, make sure you click the bell so you can get notified of when we produce a new video. That's all I've got for you. God bless you guys and carry on.